I am at the Division of Wildlife Fish Hatchery in Hebron, Ohio. Hebron, Ohio, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. You're actually, it's open for visitors from 8 to 3 or 9 to 3, Monday through Friday. Uh, he said he could give me a tour. I said, I can take my own for a while. And he says, yeah. So you can do your own tour, walk around the place, check it out. Um, again, this is down in Hebron, Ohio, near Buckeye Lake. I'm going to wander around this place and see what they got. But he said uh, around April 1st, he says it's the best time to come down because they have an event here where um, they're doing a lot of hatching, and frying and stuff, and it's the best time for public to come down and check out uh, a lot of their eggs and stuff and different fry that they got. Uh, bluegill, I don't know, I know he mentioned bluegill, so I don't know if that's what their main fish is here is bluegill or what else they have here. I'm not sure what those are for. I don't know if it's to agitate the water. Or what they're for. There's some guys down here working. Down here. I'm going to ask them what these paddles are for. They're only at this end. They're not at the far end. Uh, it looks like they're in every one of them now. And all those over there. I'll find out because I'm going to ask these guys down here what they're for. I know if you agitate the water, it sometimes will, will help with putting oxygen into the water. I don't know if that's what these are for. I don't know what other purpose they would have. Now, I'm also going to ask him what kind of fish they have in these ponds here. The guy asked me if he wanted, if I wanted him to give me a tour. I said, "Nah, I can walk by myself." But I sort of wish now I would have said, "Yeah," because that way he can educate me on what's going on here instead of me trying to guess. You know, what are those for? What kind of fish they got in here and everything. Alright, I did speak with him. And he said that's exactly what these are for. They're to help uh, produce oxygen for the fish that are in here. And he said the fish that are in here are mostly bluegill and minnows right now. Uh, so I, I thought that's probably what it was for because I could not think of any other reason why they would be doing that to the water other than just for oxygen. Yeast everywhere. Ohio's nuisance bird. The archery range. I know there's a trail back in here in the woods. He gave me a map, 
But if you point this direction, so I'm gonna walk back and see if I can find the trail. Take a walk through their trail. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but these are actually some empty ponds. If you look, maybe look for a show right here, you can see the depression. The camera's picking it up. There's several of them here. Um, I don't know what these are used for and what time of year they're used for. I mean, apparently they're not using them right now because they're, they're dry, but these large ponds here must be used for something at some point in the, in the year. I don't know if they go all the way over to where that tractor's at, or those tree lines, or, or what, I don't know how many of them there are here. I'm gonna assume they probably do. And there's probably more down there. They fill those things up to the rim. They're probably about five feet deep. Again, I'm at the Division of Wildlife Fish Hatchery in Hebron, Ohio. Just search the Division of Wildlife Fish Hatchery and select the one you want. There's several of them in the state. And they're open to the public. You can actually come and get a tour with them or do your own self-guided tour like I'm doing. But I think it probably, after, after the fact, I should probably should have let him uh, lead me because then I could learn a lot more. Like, know what these ponds are used for. If he was here with me, he could, he could say. There's another one over here. Boy, this one's definitely green. I wonder what's in here that makes this one so green. There's still more of the empty ponds back here. We were up there, you see that little building up there, that's where we were at. There's still more back here. There might be about a dozen of these ponds or more. Okay, here's some more of those ponds. Dry. We were over there, that's where we first started filming these ponds at, when we were walking to the left. I'd say as I look at it, there could probably be close to 20 or more of these ponds here.